I, I think the paint job is uh, A1. I, I don't know A1. who did that, but you ought to hire them. Well, you know, I got the white <laughs> down pretty good. That was easy. Yeah. A little tss with the blue. I've got stickers. Yeah. <laughs> so here's Grayson, our sponsor. This nice. is all Grayson stuff. Version 2 motor, park jet motor. Uh -huh. yes. uh, Metal Gear servos, the whole thing. Yes, from and Grayson. And then uh, this guy named Johnny sent us a whole bunch of stuff from Canada. Maple syrup, uh -huh. some stickers, so uh -huh. I got that. Thanks, Johnny. NASA is helping you build this? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, they're well, trying to stop me. Okay. So here's all our stuff. Oh, yeah. tight. Yeah, I see that very snug fit all, in there. Uh, Everything's tied down? Yeah, yeah. I know. Here's a square, dude. Fuck, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you don't need that. <laughs> I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's the extra servo somewhere. Last week's video made history as the world's first radio-controlled gyro-stabilized tailless X-36 fighter. Today we have some test footage from the weeks prior. We are starting off by putting large vertical stabilizers on the back of this just to get us in the air and get comfortable with the plane. Then we'll be able to cut them down a couple inches at a time working from a stable platform backwards to an unstable platform. This behind the scenes video will give you some idea of how we do what we do. But what we're gonna do is try it without the tails. Take it up in the air and then you trim the tails down. Okay. Right? I'll be looking forward to okay. this. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Hello, I'm Michael. Hi, my name's Al. Nice to meet you. This is a lifesaver, that extra battery in the back. Yeah. Because it took me 12 hours last night to figure out the wiring. Mm -hmm. And then my radio would have been dead. Pitch, roll. Mm hmm And then yaw. Right, now I course. just have the gyro on the uh, the motors. I don't have the gyros on the uh, duck bill. Oh really? It wouldn't set it up. It wouldn't take it. But you know what? I'm thinking about reconfiguring the way I set it, lay up the gyros, because I don't have a gyro on the roll either. But I think I'm going to need it. Oh, and then we've got once this is cut down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very nice. nice. Try a loop de loop. Okay, so it's gliding. Open. Whoa. Oh yeah. Yeah, the, the split go. rudders are definitely working. There you go. Alright, <laughs> so let me bring it in and let's hack those stabilizers down. Woohoo! Oh. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Jeez. Look at that. Yeah, there's a tree a little nice. ways away. Alright, alright. Let's get our razor blade out. It feels really good. I mean it feel it flies real nice. I think the more speed the more stable it's gonna be. It looks good. Yeah. So how it much looks we... like it's not a fight up there. How much? Half. Felt like that? Yeah. Okay. Make them even. Oh, that's kind of a lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Ready? Maybe I should just for the takeoff, right? Yeah. Until you get in the air. See Except I'm a little worried about the structure yeah. of that. Okay. Now moving fast, it feels nice. I think I got to just keep the speed up. Is that? Oh. Is that? What? Is that canard flexing off? Uh, yeah, it's yeah. flexing. Uh -oh. They What's look the like they're going like upward. Okay, right, right. Hey, what's it doing? Uh, it's like flexing up. I don't know if Where's my hot glue job is all that great on this. But yeah, did you see that when it went up and I put that rudder down? Yeah, so what does that tell you about having to have that upon takeoff well, I, I and landing? I and think stuff. planes like to have rudders. Yeah. <laughs> so, are these going to take the place of it for takeoffs and landings? I'll have to have these open. And are you eventually going to take those off all the way? Yeah, yeah. Let's tr let's get this straightened out. Yeah. And then try it again. I think I think the more I have the speed up, the better I'm going to be. All right, it's feeling a little better. It flies. Okay. Once okay. it gets in the air and has this flip down, it still flies. So the whole point is to fly it and then get rid of yeah. these things altogether. Are you noticing altogether. the difference? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah but, it's definitely getting getting but, different. Now this is going to be the one that's really going to get different because he's going to cut it probably off about the height of the body. Okay. Okay. And I'm that's sorry. I'm really just foreigner. That's why I don't understand a lot of things. <laughs> okay. Now you got to go on the other up side and this one here. Right. I'll let him know. I'll, There's I'll one way over there up high. See it? Yeah. You want to take your twenty dollar plane out of the way? <laughs> <laughs> Did you launch that with the tail down? Yeah, I oh, did. I did. I forgot. You didn't. I didn't think you had it up. I forgot yeah. about the tail. <laughs> Boy, that's hard to see with no uh, stabilizer. Yeah, yeah, it gets very thin. How, well, how's it flying? It, it's sliding around a little bit. I know. All right, I'm gonna need more uh, gyro control on those duck bills. Yeah. But it's flying. It is, but it looks like it's much more of a handful. Yeah. You is. just you just cut the ease off. 
Yeah, it needs a lot more gyro control. Oh no, here it goes. Oh man. <laughs> I should probably change the battery soon, huh? No? Okay. <laughs> one more flight. Nah, live on, <laughs> on the edge. All right, which way's the one? Oh, much nicer. How is it? So it's working. I definitely just need more gyro control on the split tips. The gyros on the motors are not enough. I need gyros on the yaw uh, duck bills as well. Just to help you out more. Yeah, for sure. I got the duck bills all the way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't, whoa. don't. Oh. Oh, okay, no. that's not that bad. That was the stabilizer. That's no big deal. Okay, okay. No big deal. So what, what, what did it do? I, it just, you know what? Up, it what, just what were you doing when you brought it down? What were you trying to do? Bring it, land it, or just no? Do I was a trying to. Pass? I was trying to go. I was trying to put the duck bills down. I don't know if I did or not. Let's see. That was the stabilizer that fell off, off, Dave. Because I was trying to come by, and then it bring it down. It just went out of control, and then that tail went up and just ripped right <laughs> just, off the back. The I got it, scared, it just, so I hit the tail, the and it just. Weird. It just, you know, I just thought, man, it's so close to the ground, and then all of a sudden, it just went. Yeah, did you hear it? It just wobbled all over. No, it's not feeling uh, good. It cracked. That's what the crack crack was. Oh, tape will fix that. Which way are the duck bills? Open or... Well, you already flicked Let's the thing, Let's see. Which you? way are the duck bills? Are they closed? They're open? They're still open. So you were trying to slow down. You cracked I, I had them open the whole time. Oh, I you never, never shut them? I never shut them. Oh, I thought they were shut when you were flying up top. Where's the Slide servo out. to the... Um, oh, it's right there. Yeah. That thing just took right off. Yeah, I saw did that Did you thing. see that? Yeah, I yeah. saw this doing this. Oh, you mean this? Yeah, I did. Most important is I need to have gyros on the duck bills, even though that means a sacrifice of not being able to have two settings on them. The front canards need to be beefed up, and the pop-up rudder needs to be beefed up. The speed just needs to be high. You need to keep it moving fast, and it seems to work. I mean, it was flying. It was flying without a tail, that's for sure. Before it messed up, it was flying down nice, and then, and then right all of a sudden it jerked and jumped, yeah. mm -hmm. and then the tail came up and off. Well, that was me. I know. <laughs> that was me getting scared. <laughs> a little dab of hot glue doesn't hold that down. <laughs> you know, you're hot building glue. in the middle of the night. You're not thinking about and the forces. Just so everybody sees, there's not a mark on it. It went all the way how? back I don't into know. the propeller. I don't know how. <laughs> Hit him. We have part two of this video on our X36 page on our website. It's a video of me and Keith sitting down doing more post-crash analysis and talking about the changes needed to make this work. You can go to rcpowers.com right now to see all of that. And for next week, we will be doing KF airfoil testing as I critically need some hard data on these airfoils for these future projects. So if you or your buddies are into flat foamies, this is going to be a good one for you. So subscribe to see that. And remember, we have a new video up here on YouTube every Saturday morning. Oh, tape will fix that.